the nursing home to nursing our funny bones. Yes! That was so cute! She's out of control. This is out of control. This is City of Michael. Yes, that was so cute. bring me out to Chicago. There's only one girl that would bring me out to Chicago. Empire's own Tyronda Jones in the city of Michael. <laughs> I love it. You look fly as hell. Thank you, Tom. Bomb as hell. Thank you, Tom. You are part of the hottest thing going right yeah. now. Yeah. The hottest show on television. Absolutely. For Empire, mm -hmm. you were working at a nursing home. And now as... you no longer work at that nursing home. No. What were you doing at the nursing home? I was an assistant director of nutritional services. <laughs> Born to be. Hello. Were there, like, did you feel this coming? Like, Absolutely you know not. Absolutely not. It all happened so fast. I got the phone call in the middle of the night from my brother. And he said, hey, Terrence Howard is looking for female rappers in their 20s because I rap. And I'm like, oh. Okay, what is he up to? What, what is he trying to do? So my brother said, you need to audition, you need to call this number, you need to do it ASAP. Okay. So I called and I spoke to the casting director and she said, yeah, we're looking for beautiful, talented young women. And when she said that, I said, oh, that's me, girl. You know, I think I'm cute or whatever. So yeah, she started laughing and we just vibed right. over the phone. Yeah. She asked me to come in the next day. I went in. Um, I originally tried out for the role Tiana, which is Hakeem's love interest. Yes. Yeah. And can you picture me being Tiana? Baby T. <laughs> I was to watch. In fact, maybe that's the empire I want to watch. She said, no, that was pretty good. Can you come in tomorrow? I think I might have something else in mind for you. Leave your name, number, email. She emailed me that same day, and that's when she emailed me the Porsche role. Bam. And I went in the next day knocked it out of the park she said hey can you come in monday and i got a little mad and i said look lady i got a job i can't keep leaving work i don't even home meets me and i i never knew what the heck i was auditioning for and that's crazy but really? stupid i just kept going in like whatever it is i'm gonna get it you know i didn't know what i was auditioning for right, right. and um finally that monday when i walked in the room it was this one guy that stood out to me and when I walked in the room, he said, yes, yes, I love it. And I'm like, who is this man? I love him back. I loved his energy. Like when he was, yes, and, it, and it, it, something ignited in me. So I'm like, I love this man. He said, you're effing brilliant and sent me on my way. <laughs> I loved you from moment one. Yes, yes. And the rest is? History. This is, this is the Oprah moment, ready? Uh-huh. You're in the room with Lee Daniels, mm -hmm. you're in the room with Tarashi, mm -hmm. you're in the room with Terrence, you're in the room with Gabby. These are people that have trophy cases. Yes, yeah, absolutely. What is that like? It's refreshing. You know, it's real refreshing to know mm. that somebody like little old me is actually, you know, sitting around all these award nominated, award winning, you know, phenomenal individuals and I never thought that it could actually happen to me. Right. But to sit around them to just like kind of vibe with them because they're so welcoming. They are mm. so welcoming. It's just, it's rejuvenating and refreshing. I get a little speechless sometimes because I have to sit back and just say. Damn. You know? Yeah. You know? I'm having that moment right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to talk favorite, my personal favorite, Portia moments mm -hmm. from season one. Mm -hmm. Favorite moment is <laughs> what I've personally labeled the Portia duck wobble, which is when, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Which, yeah. when the shoe is thrown mm -hmm. and we hear the bitch get my shoe, <laughs> and there is this elegant wobble that you do to the phone. Yeah. Did you choreograph that moment yourself? That's how I walk in heels. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's how I walk in heels. I cannot walk in heels. 
and everybody just couldn't stop laughing. Like any scene that you catch me in, if you really watch the way I walk, it's not that my feet hurt. Yeah. I can't walk in heels. What's it like it now with all this success? There's inevitably some haters. How do you feel about the haters? I don't really pay them no mind. The haters, they stand where they stand. They're peasants, you know. To yes. me, they're peasants. Yes. Haters are peasants. So what's a peasant to a queen? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Season two, mm -hmm. we haven't started filming yet. No. We meaning you, we meaning me, <laughs> I was thinking just because I know Lee's watching, mm -hmm. he loves you. I love him back. I love you, Lee. I love you, Lee. I was thinking <laughs> of what I could help, what I could bring to the show. Cuteness, obviously. Cuteness. <laughs> Two ideas to expand upon that. One being, we talked about love. Portia's kind of white chocolate love interest <laughs> for season two. Yes! Yes! Yes. Duh. Oreo. 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 Scene number two. I kind of come back as Naomi Campbell's twin brother of some kind. Oh my God. Plus size model. <laughs> because. I love it. I love it. We need that. We do. You hear that, Lee? We <laughs> Naomi needs that. She's on the, you know, I bring that kind of plus size model thing. Yeah. Okay. Co-signed. You're so creative. Season two. Mm -hmm. Can you spill anything? Do you know anything? Are you sworn to secrecy? There's got to be like something you can give us. Because um, 40 million say, people want to know. I will say that um, of course it's going to be dope. Um, I'm going to be in it. Uh, That's right. Yes. Yes. And um, the feds are watching, so I can't say anything. The okay. feds watching. You're engaged. Yes. Tell everyone where you met your husband. <laughs> I used to work for uh, Jewel Osco here in Chicago on 61st and Western, all the way on the south side. Um, I was a meat rapper slash butcher there, mm -hmm. cutting fish and everything else. And he got transferred to my store. His name is Martel. He got transferred to our store. And um, he's a little like like one of these starky dudes. And he was just like like wouldn't leave me alone like how you doing miss jones like he was the only guy who called me by my last name and i thought it was so cute because cute. i'm like uh, well nobody never called me by my last name and like kept bugging me just kept bugging me and i'm like i wish this fat boy would leave me alone that, that's what i said until so one day you know i used to laugh and i used to you know laugh with my hand over my mouth and one day he pulled my hand down and said, you know, you have a beautiful smile. You shouldn't cover it up. And I thought that was just so cute. And then he got me to this day. He got me. Wow. I'm his. He's mine. So, yeah. <laughs> you deserve all the success Thank that you've you. garnered over the last few months. Thank you. Hand down on talent alone. But, you know, this is a show about music. You are yourself a musician. I'm a rapper. You're a rapper by yeah. trade. Yeah. Where can we hear some of SoundCloud? Yeah, it's all on SoundCloud. SoundCloud. Uh, if, if anybody follows me on Twitter or Instagram, it's in my bio. Okay. You can just click the link. Uh, my Instagram is at flygirl1988. You can click the link on there and it'll take you straight to SoundCloud. And all you got to do is press play. This is Tyronda Jones. You're watching City of Michael. It does not get any better than this, it doesn't get any better than Empire. Check the TV, check the SoundCloud, yeah. check the Insta, check the Twitter, check your life. Yeah. If you are not watching Empire. <laughs> that's that's the best way to put it. That's check right. your life. I just want to know what you're living for if you're not watching Empire. Well, and, and my show on YouTube, really. Yeah, duh. City of Michael. Duh. Tyronda Jones. Bye, everyone. <laughs> I'm trying to go on Empire because after this, I cannot get a normal job. That's you. No. Oh, oh yes. <laughs>